Hey guys, my name is Griffey and welcome to part 2 of the series. If you haven't watched part 1 of the series, go and click on the card right now to go watch part 1. So in this part, we are going to be making the props to set up the scene. We're gonna make a wine glass and a wine bottle and also the cloth and also maybe the plates. So these are gonna be a very simple modeling. We're gonna use references and uh, let's start. So before we start, we're gonna reset our view. I'm gonna go to press 1 to press... Uh, Press one to press no i'm gonna press one we go to the front view and right click here uh so we drop our shift right click here but before the screencast keys please work uh, okay it works it works nice and uh we're gonna import an image uh so that we can use as a uh, download some pictures and some my screenshots all right we, we we are going to use this reference to model the wine glass this is just a screenshot it looks, so you don't really have to worry about it we're gonna add a circle and uh, as you can see it's not filled in but we're gonna scale it down to size first and then go to tab and press F we're gonna use the circle because it's far more easier than modeling this from a cylinder because it has a single plane so before we start I'm just gonna Go to face selection mode uh do an insert now we can start adding extrusions to model this better so press e to extrude I'm gonna go to wireframe mode obviously because it's so much easier fine put it there e s to scale e to extrude We're gonna add a loop cut here to make this match up better. Now if we go back to solid view, we have this class, which looks pretty cool, which looks really good. We're gonna get rid of the reference for now and make sure we have smooth shading on go to the normal the, the object data object properties object data properties and click on auto smooth but as you know this 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 doesn't really look like a glass and there's some weird shading here so we're gonna control b to bevel it and smooth that out we have to get rid of this face so that it actually looks like a wine glass but what are we gonna do is yeah press x and uh face now this has no uh it's infinitely thin so we have to add a solidify modifier go to the modify stack and add a solidify like so you just give it some thickness so when you're doing it as a glass uh it doesn't really have uh, any problems with it. so we're gonna press g and uh move it on the glass on the table and uh, position it like so you don't really have to worry about the position right now but yeah we have already modeled and finished uh, a glass it's 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 easy it's the easiest model uh using reference is really easy we're gonna do the same again uh but this time we're gonna import another uh reference uh, i'll go to image reference and uh use the wine bottle uh screenshot that i have the scale down face and uh, press one and yeah, zoom in to it we're going to be doing the same thing here as well we're going to press shift a mesh and use a circle i mean you could uh do this uh with what's it called you could you could you could definitely do this with a cylinder but this was this is much more easier to work with and i'm going to go tab f to fill uh and uh yeah we can go back to the friend mode scale to size let's zoom in a bit go back to wireframe mode e to extrude uh s to scale extrude like so we're gonna pull it all the way over here e to extrude s to scale e to extrude s to scale e to extrude s to scale and uh e to extrude scale 
uh, about here we're gonna e to extrude yes to scale e to extrude and, uh, e to extrude yes to scale e to uh, s to scale no we're gonna add one more uh, loop and we're gonna s to scale on that so now if we go back to solid mode we already have uh, yeah we have the wine glass we're gonna put shade smooth again for the object data object data properties click on auto smooth to smoothen it up as you can see here there's another obvious problem we're gonna click on the edge loop control b and there you go you already have it smooth you can do the same here because it's a hard edge here i'm going to add a control b run a bevel and uh looks neat we're gonna get rid of, we're gonna get rid of the uh, reference and we already have a bottle now we're gonna place it on top like so also you can press uh control uh to uh, b and control to place it on a surface but I do not know why it doesn't work properly. Maybe we have to set the origin. But yeah, there you go. We have the two main important things that we needed for the scene. We have the glass and uh, the wine bottle. We're gonna add a plate as well because on the original design I had a plate. So again, we're gonna, we're gonna do the same. We're gonna add a circle again. <laughs> uh, who would have thought? All right, go to edit mode, press F to fill. I'm gonna go to a different view so it's easier. Go for E to extrude and S to scale and I to insert and move it down like so. So now we have the plate, the wine glass, and the wine uh, bottle. Next, we're going to add a cloth that kind of looks like uh, it's a picnic cloth. It's not really hard, it's very simple to do. We're gonna press Shift A, add a plane. Gonna scale it to size, bring it up top, and we are going to do a physics simulation. I'm gonna to go to the top view and uh, rotate by an angle because we, we're going to lock this simulation on place. We don't want it to be messing with us and taking a lot of uh, RAM and energy, and uh, I don't know what it takes. But so once you have this on place, uh, it's gonna fall right on this desk, right? So we're gonna go uh, press tab and subdivide it by a lot. I'm gonna give uh, about eight subdivision, eight subdiv uh, subdivisions, and I think that will be enough. And uh, if you want more subdivisions, you can obviously add it uh, later as well. So now we're gonna click on the table and uh, add a force field. We're gonna add a collision object. This is gonna be the collision, and this is gonna be the cloth. And it's, it's just simple just press play and you already have the simulation <laughs> which which, which kind of looks scuffed right now but yeah this is how you basically do it uh what we can do to make it look better we're gonna add this as a collision as well and reset the animation and now play it so it kind of sits on this as well so that that kind of looks better in my opinion I'm gonna add another solid sub subdivision surface uh, to smoothen it up, and uh, it already looks good. Just put it on shade smooth, and there you go. Oh God, I just broke it. <laughs> yeah, don't go to edit mode when you're uh, doing a cloth simulation. All right, we're gonna do simple as well. Uh, that is important because or else you're going to lose these corners, and it's just gonna look like a different material. Or maybe we can uh, put the subdivision surface on the. <laughs> it has wanky things, so be careful. Uh, if you have a bad PC, please be careful and uh, hit play. And there you go. It's it's more organic. It's more smooth. We're gonna stop it that there, and uh, we're gonna apply this and also apply this. So that way, it's locked in place. It's not gonna animate anymore, uh, and. Uh, now we can pretty much set up the scene uh it, it's pretty much done press shift uh, alt d uh to duplicate uh instances and uh yeah we pretty much have a scene already i'm gonna put all the put this into place a bit maybe and if you go to render view uh it's obviously looking like it's obviously looking very bad because it has thousand watts not a 500 that's still a lot we're gonna do 100 and uh 
yeah as you can see it, it's it, we are getting the shape of it uh there's one thing still remember uh, remaining and that is the basket and the bread the bread is very easy to make we're gonna do the bread now but i'm i'm gonna be doing the basket on the next episode because it kind of is a, it's it's a bit annoying and it's a bit hard to make but for the bread uh let's add a cube S scale it down uh move it up and uh, scale it by the x-axis and we're going to add a subdivision surface go to the edit mode drop an edge loop Control r to drop an edge loop and move it down like so i'm gonna add another edge loop uh more like this but if you if you want like a big edge, big 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 it, just take this face and uh make it longer i'll just select the whole thing uh select the whole thing make it longer and uh you can obviously add more cuts to kind of shape it up a bit just like you want it oh yeah we can, we're gonna take the top face and squish it up a bit we're gonna add one edge loop there and uh make it a bit wider because it, it does look a bit fat flat right now take this edge loop and uh, move so there you go you, you there you have the baguette or the bread or how whatever you want to call it uh it, it's obviously it's too big we're gonna scale it down and uh, place it right place it right on the desk if oh it's on increments right <laughs> put it on face uh before you try snapping uh things on faces the g and uh yeah put it on the surface and uh you can all deep duplicate make more bread and uh, that is gonna be a wrap for today's video on the next episode we're gonna make a basket and start putting up the lights and uh the poles on the sides the light and we'll start l lighting the scene adding textures and on the final part we'll be rendering it out seeing the different options and how you can make it better do some post processing and we're gonna go through over everything but that's been it and uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow uh on the next part make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell i also stream on twitch at uh, it's griffin uh, twitch.tv slash griffy it's 6r1 ffy you can click on the link to go there and uh yeah subscribe please notification bell hit it bye